brothers and sisters, I would like to wish all of you a very happy and glorious Easter. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, after Christ was crucified, died and buried, what happened? It was very quiet. The disciples were so discouraged, in despair, in distress, and they were all disappointed and in great fear. The one that expected to set them free from the Roman Empire so that he would be their king is now dead. And Judas hung himself. <laughs> he committed suicide. Peter was crying, weeping all the time. Could not stop weeping because he remembered the Lord's words. Before the cock crow, you would have denied me three times. So he realized when the cock crow, Jesus Christ looked at him with what? With love, with compassion, with mercy. His heart was broken. The other disciples decided to go back to their hometown in Maus. But a group of holy women. Right? They came to the tomb early in the morning uh, on Sunday with spices wanted to anoint the body of Jesus. When they arrived there, they noticed the tomb stone, the heavy stone was rolled away, it was no more there. And they were looking inside, the body of Jesus was not there. They were in more despair and they were very, very disappointed. But all of a sudden, two men with brilliant clothes appeared to them and told them, why are you looking for the dead? So he informed them that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Indeed, Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. And Jesus Christ appeared to the disciples. <laughs> and showed them his hand and his feet. Yeah? I'm not a ghost. <laughs> touch me. He allowed them to touch him. Jesus Christ is truly and really has risen from the dead. And brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ wants us no more to live a defeated life, but to live the life of the resurrection. In today's reading from St. Paul to the Romans, you have just heard it. When we were baptized, we were baptized into Christ, into death with the Lord. Uh, and we will rise again with the new life of the resurrected Lord. Do you want to live the life of the resurrection? Then you had to die to your sin. Without death, there is no resurrection. How to do that? We learn so much from the little soul, from the message of love made with tears and tears of blood. The message of April 7, 2007, that was given on the vigil, is the vigil. And the message of love tells us, if you want to resurrect, you have to die first. How can you resurrect if you don't die? Huh? No resurrection, isn't it? So you have to die first. It's a message given on February 17, 2016. We have to die what? Die to our pride, to our ego, to our selfishness. Uh, or the thing, we have to die to our sin. And we had to become humble little souls. In order to become humble little soul, we must learn from Jesus, who humbled himself by becoming a servant to serve us, to give his life for us. He took upon himself all our faults and failures, he, all our sins. Our sins nailed him to the cross, and our sins you know, put him to death. He buried 
our sin together with him. And when he rise from the dead, we also rise with him, with the life of the resurrection. How to do this? We have learned. Defy spirituality. This is our last weapon. And we have to exercise this fight spiritual, especially the most difficult one. Which is the most difficult one? It's my fault. So, how to accept it's my fault? Everything is my fault. We simply cannot do it. We have to die to our pride, our ego. If we are still proud, very aggressive, we become judgmental. We tend to judge people, to criticize people, to condemn people. And we see the plans of other people. We cannot see our own, the plan in our own eye. We see the small speck uh, in the eyes of other people. We learn so much from the little soul. Huh? She took upon herself all the faults of other people. Yeah. It's my fault. <laughs> she put that into practice all the time. And when she was beaten up, you know, all these people scolded her. She said, it's because of me that these people get angry. Yeah. You still remember you know, two hours ago, you saw the video uh, of how the little soul was in the plane from Philippines. She won the economy class, okay? But they put her in the business class. At once she started praying the rosy with her eyes closed and uh, she said uh, Angela was there beside her. And all of a sudden, something very hard and solid you know, was, it was strong and hit her eyes. And at once she almost got blacked out. The eyes just solemn. She could not even open her eye. And with the help of uh, Angela, she went to the toilet. Could open only one eye, the other side, blue black. It was an apple, big apple. Just imagine, you know, it threw like a baseball. And Julia, with smiling face on the other eye, went to the boy. The mother said, no, no, no. <laughs> the mother thought that she would hit the boy. And know, said, bless him, bless him. <laughs> so Julia prayed for the boy, so that the Lord would bless him, that he may become a priest. And Mira. the mother of the poor was so much that kept on thanking Julia, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because, she, I mean, that this is her fault, because she was sitting there, and that the apple was thrown on her arm because she was there. So she practiced this weapon of, it's my fault. What happened? Miracles of love happened. She has no hurt feeling towards the boy, right? She put the blame on herself, and immediately the black eye just disappeared, and she became no more person again. Those people in the plane, they all oh, clap, no, sing hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because the little soul lived the life of the resurrection. She humbled herself. Instead of putting the blame on the boy, she put the blame on on herself, it's my fault. Now, you want to live the life of the resurrection? Then arm yourself with the five spirituality you know? and you will achieve the life of the resurrection. Now the message given just last year, December, one day before Christmas, 2021, there is no time to hesitate. We have to stay awake. I will just read a part of this message. There is no time to hesitate or procrastinate. The disasters with the burst of flame, burning with stern justice of God, are now continuously falling here and there. It is now the very important time to separate the good grain from the dry grass, and you will be saved only when you practice the five spiritualities and stay awake at every moment. So Mother Mary wants us to stay awake all the time and also be united with the little soul. Uh, we, we put that into practice, the five spirituality. Then we will be able to stay awake all the time. If you are not awake, if you the, the boy threw this uh, up an apple on your eye, your eye got swollen up, what would be the reaction? Your first reaction is what? 
one eye or I, you get angry with that boy. Uh, so if you arm yourself with the first preacher, uh, because I'm, I was there, huh? so it's my fault because I was there, then the devil of anger will run away. Then you will start living the life of the resurrection. So for this purpose, be united with my little soul, who graciously offers up her extreme pain for the repentance of even one more soul. Arm yourself with the armor of the five spiritualities and practice it. The ministers and shepherds of the Lord who have been specially chosen because I love you so much, hurriedly be awake. Now I'll read out to you another message that was given just last month, all right, uh, March the 4th. This is being repeated. As I have mentioned previously, if they do not accept the words of my son Jesus and I, and do not practice the five spiritualities, the world will turn into a seas of fire through a third world war and be led to destruction. For the God of love can also be a God of wrath. So if we really arm ourselves and put into practice you know, the five spirituality, we will start to live the life of the resurrection. Uh, and the devil will be defeated. If not, the third world war may break out. So there is no time to hesitate and procrastinate. So let all my children pray five more decades of the rosary and practice the five spirituality so that the third world war may not occur and the war peace will be established. And how to keep ourselves awake all the time. Here it is. Uh, turning your daily lives into prayer help you to stay awake all the time. They don't stay awake. Why? Because they don't arm themselves with the five spirituality. Even though it may seem trivial, it will lead you to be consecrated in my burning immaculate heart. Therefore, turn every moment of your lives into prayer. It will manifest tremendous differences and you must cast away your stubbornness and ego and fully arm yourself with the armor of the five spirituality. So if we start arming ourselves with the five spirituality and turn every moment of the line to pray, <laughs> that means we exercise this weapon that the Lord has given to us, brothers and sisters, we will start living a victorious life. Otherwise, we will continue to live a defeated life. With small things that happen, we get impatient, we get angry, we want to take revenge. So today, brothers and sisters, let us celebrate with great joy this holy, happy Easter, glorious Easter. And every day, we must die to ourselves, die to our pride, our eager, die to our sin. Then we will rise again with the very life of Jesus Christ. So that we will be alive with the very life of Jesus Christ himself. So that all of us will start living a victorious life. With Jesus as our victorious king. With Mother Mary as our victorious queen. And we as victorious princesses and princesses. So be united with the little soul and with one another. Be a one heart, mind, and a strength. The moment we use the last weapon of this five spirituality, the devil will run away. They are so scared of this five spirituality. And the little soul has been attacked so many times. And how did he win a victory over Satan? By turning everything into prayer. Even she broke her tooth you know, that was broken by the devil. The, the volunteers were so worried about her. But she said, glory to the Lord, hallelujah. And I was there on the 21st of March, you know, how the devil wanted to lift her and smash her on the floor <laughs> in the toilet. Mm. They just kill her, finish with it. By all the aching here and there, she started to glorify the Lord. I was there, I witnessed that. It's living a victorious life. That is the meaning of putting God's word into practice, live the message of love, and arming yourself with the five spirituality.
instead of the, like the disciples of the Christ, they, they were so down, they were so discouraged in despair, in depression. <laughs> As the Christ had risen for the day, he appeared to them and showed them his hand and feet and allowed himself to be touched by them. And Jesus was strengthened then. Yeah? But after Christ had ascended into heaven, they started to proclaim the good news with power and with authority. The Jewish authority had them flock beaten up, but they were happy. What about you? When you are beaten up, will you be happy or angry? If you start praising the Lord, then you will be living the life of the resurrection. So, brothers and sisters, let us start in today, start living the life of the resurrection. Because Jesus has risen from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.